welcome to the silent revolution, where the people aren't silent anymore. Streamercast TV. If you like old movies, then please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click the like button to preserve our movie heritage for future generations. The earliest movie stars might have been silent, but that didn't stop them from infecting millions of ordinary cinema goers' minds with rebellious thoughts of, ooh, freedom, hope, and equality. Of course, this new medium, yes, this medium was completely new and refreshing in an age where many still slaved away for their local lord as servants or farm tenants. Most of the movie stars featured on these original 1916 trade cards, that's nearly a hundred years old. Anyway, most of the movie stars featured on these cards started out their movie careers years before Charlie Chaplin even stepped in front of a movie camera. You might notice that most of them are women. Well, this particular card set was issued during World War I, when many men were busy fighting for their lives in one of the most bloodthirsty wars in the history of mankind. Many of these beautiful early movie stars weren't strangers to danger either. Pearl White was known as the stunt queen of silent movies since she enjoyed flying aeroplanes, racing cars, swimming across rivers, etc. Rhea Mitchell earned the name of the little stunt girl because of her willingness to attempt thrilling scenes in motion pictures. Poor Florence Labadee's promising movie career was tragically cut short when she died due to a car accident. She was a major star in the early movies and a friend of none other than Mary Pickford. But unfortunately, she is largely forgotten today. However, cards like these have kept the memory of her alive. YouTube silent, YouTuber Silent Movie Queen has uploaded several videos devoted to this early movie sensation. So please check them out and sub sub subscribe to their great YouTube channel and help preserve our cultural heritage for future generations. I've put a link in the description. Mary Miles Minter was another promising star who at one point rivaled even Mary Pickford herself. However, due to the rise in sensationalistic tabloid press in the 1920s that we know so well today thanks to, thanks to ruthless media moguls such as Rupert Murdoch. Anyway, due to the rise in sensationalistic tabloid press, she, along with many other early stars, fell victim to scandalous and unfounded stories in the press. On a lighter note, Anna Nielsen was named the most beautiful women, woman sorry, in America in 1907. And in 1926, she was considered to be the most popular woman in Hollywood. As cinema evolved from a novelty traveling fairground attraction into a cinematic palace in every major town, Millions of people were seduced by and worshipped this new form of entertainment. But those early movies gave people something much more valuable than just simple entertainment. They handed out to the information-starved underclass dreams of escaping their generations of dreary mundane lives for the promised land in the Californian sun. People have always strived to emulate and copy those they admire since caveman times. Everyone loves to keep up with the uh, Joneses, don't they? In fact, this is what separates us humans from our wild animal cousins. Gutenberg's printing press took this to a completely new level, triggering many people revolutions, including the American War of Independence, without which the USA will be a completely different place to what it is today. In fact, trade cards like these have origins dating back to 15th century calling cards. Is it just a coincidence that that is about the same time that Gutenberg unleashed the printing press onto the world? These cards were issued in packets of scissors cigarettes. 
both the printing press and steam energy finally started to unravel the power of the old ruling aristocracies. But the cinema was the final nail in the aristocratic coffin as the pioneering movie stars showed the masses that they too could rise up from underprivileged backgrounds into global megastars. Yes, although many of the earliest movie stars have long since been forgotten, their legacy lives on and has been immortalised by collectibles like these. Those early stars gave birth to our age of consumerism and the celebrity obsessed world we live in today. Advertisers like the father of propaganda himself Edward Bernays soon realised that they could use this new medium to sell luxury items to the aspirational masses on a colossal scale never seen before. Of course, even humble trade cards like these played a vital role in initiating the age of consumerism when cinema was little more than a fairground attraction. Companies fiercely competed against each other in coming up with card subjects that would appeal to their information starved customers, unwittingly providing us with one of the finest pictorial records of the early 20th century in the world. In fact, ironically, these cards are exceptionally important to the preservation of popular culture, since nearly 80% of the original movie reels have long since crumbled away and have been lost forever. Even the traditional printing press and movie studio had one major flaw. Not everyone is lucky enough to be a rich and powerful media mogul like Rupert Murdoch. So what happens when the ordinary people are able to broadcast themselves? Well, that's where you and YouTube comes in. But we don't know what the outcome is because that will be written or typed in the history ebooks of the future. So all we can do now is dream. But we all know that dreams can be powerful things. Please feel free to check out the largest collection of videos of the earliest movie trade cards in the world on my channel. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to pop by at my online card and collectibles gallery at creamofcards.com.